And that's a line ball. And the Lions men's ball. And it's good for Shane's game to be here. It's good for the Lions. Shane's game to get the line around. It comes to Andy Stallan, but... Oh, well, I don't know who was there, and the referee says it's line ball to Burgess. Going to be taken by Shane on his inside. Come on, come on. Oh, I don't know who. Oh, he gets a lovely cut up. Our side hit on there by Alan Seymour. Forward mark now. And Alan Seymour has it again and gets it into. Vincent Stapleton blocks it from both Lee gets it hockey style along the ground. Out comes Carla Henry and Carl gets it. Back down there and Mark Kelly is there. And this line gets it along the ground. Comes to Neil Stapleton blocked there by Connor Quigley. And the ball with Patrick Tyne and Patrick Bonus on the up the far side of the field. Been chased there by two gorgeous players. One of them is Carl Henry. not prepared to hit the ball as quickly as they should and <laughs> being caught in possession then and giving away a chance to Burgess. So we have a free over on the far side to be taken by Patrick Tynan. About 30 yards out from the Burgess goals and Ursula would need another goal to get back into this game. They're still going two balls and two pounds to one goal and one pound. <laughs> Well, there was Andy Spillane, Andy gets a long round pulled there by John Paul Ryan, the goal scorer from Burris. Tony Spook with the ball. Blocked by Shane Stapleton. Ball goes to Seamus Farrell, gets a left hand up along the far side. Mark Maher there. Watch his goal, he gets a long round, but a great pull there. And well, he's out by. David Maher. David goes back for it again. Four balls and he players around him, but beats the four of them. And well, there was four not in a hole and gets a great clearance down. And now we have Francis Hogan going his hole and Francis sends a good ball in towards the balls and he goes. Well blocked out there by Jim Ryan. The ball goes over to the far side of the field. David Quigley. Quinlan, David Quinlan over the far side there, gets along the ground. Back goes Seamus Farrell. Chased by Noel Gleeson. Seamus gets along the ground, half blocked there by Noel Gleeson. The ball comes across to Boris Lee goals. Danger here for Boris Lee. Oh, well cleared out there by Jim Ryan. Shane Stavington with the ball, gets along the ground. Comes to Matthew Stavington. Richard kicks it first down up this side of the field. And this Galar Mutter goes to Harvick now, but Henry was fouled and is free into Boris Ali. <coughs> An awful lot of excitement out here in the sideline. Both sets of mentors know that there's not an awful lot of time left in the the ball on either side would make an awful lot of difference as Matthew Stapleton gets the ball, he takes a shot but it goes to the right and wide. Chance of a score there for Bursley but not available. Still two goals and two points to one goal and one point. And four minutes, 14 minutes gone in the second half. It's an injury there to David O'Brien. Damien O'Brien over the far side. Paul McGrath puts the ball out to this side of the field. Tony Scoop goes for it. Shane Stanton is there. Tony Shane. So it comes to Mark Maher. Mark very near the sideline. Oh, pull down there. It goes back to David Maher. Ball with Martin Maher. Martin going through, chased by Owen, I don't know who. Still going through. Not inclined to let it go. Ball comes to Patrick Tynan. 
Patrick's been going to the chase by Alan Seymour, the ball comes in. They're just from the back line there. Very strong and through their line, Damien O'Brien over in the far side, gets it down on the far side of the field. Jim Ryan is there. So it'll the day for the to leave. Jim gets it along the ground, it goes over to the far side. Now Bob just on the attack again with Alan Cena. Alan gets down towards the corner. Down there too, you know, Leeson. Vincent Stevenson is there. Comes to Patrick Tucker. Lord Leeson again. But Vincent Stevenson gets it out when it goes over the sideline. Ball well, that's gone over the sideline yet. There's a little bit of fun in the They are the ball goes. That was the ball on the sideline and it's a uh, line ball. Well, yeah, just in the time. In the time. In the time. Yeah, about five minutes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sideline by a Burgess player, and it's a free hour line ball to Dorothy Lee. It's to be taken by Seamus Farrell. Jane made out there in the centre of the field. Ball going very near the sideline. Alan Seymour was there and there was three players throwing the ball and it was between Alan Seymour and Mark Maher. Martin gets it up on the side but back down goes David Maher. David has got into the centre and Burgess are on the attack again and here's a great chance. Patrick Tucker has the ball. But well cleared out there by Shane Stapleton. Robbed there by Patrick Tucker again, but gets up and Tony Scoop is there. Not a miss hitting, maybe not enough practice on the playing field of hitting balls along the ground. Matthew Stavison gets it along the ground. He's beaten there by Tony Scoop. Tony gets a good ball across the Boris and goals. Got out there by Jim Ray. Chased by Alan Seymour, but the referee blows the whistle and it's a free out to Rosalie. Shane is firing at this free to Rogerson as well up along the far side, but Alan Seymour gets it again. And it comes to Kyle Hamilton. Jim Ryan is there. Oh, it was after the three and it's a throw in to Noah Gleason and Patrick Tynan. Back comes to Martin now. Martin from the good relieving clearance this time up towards the ball just goes. One hit out there but it comes to Mark Ball. Mark Ball is through on a solo one. Sends a low ball in it goes in towards the goalie. Well tapped there inside by Nima Grand. A very good clearance over to the far side of the field. And the ball comes to Cahal quickly. Cahal going to throw on the far side of the field. Chased down by Matt Kelly. Gets a good cut in. Over to his corner man, but Jim Ryan. Box knows Leeson and the ball is still over on the far side of the field. Now Burgess come again in waves. But the ball goes in towards the goal. It goes in. And a great shot there and a goal for Burgess. Yes. A very good goal there for Burgess by their corner forward, Francis Hogan. As the Boris and Lee back line looked at it and didn't, didn't clear it. And now the score is three goals and two points to Burgess. One goal and one point to Boris and Lee. It's Carl Henry and has the ball. Just there by Mark Mark. Carl gets it his, over to the side of the field. Jim Ryan gets it and sends a good clearance up the centre of the field. It comes to Mark Burke. Mark, fouled there by Donald Hogan, the captain of the team, 
and it's a free into Burrison League. And there's 10 metres they're giving there. 